The term prepper or prepping has certainly gained popularity over the past couple years. That's for sure. Here is the official definition. You can read it if you'd like, but basically it's a person who prepares for a societal collapse, whether that's an entire society collapsing completely or just a brief economic collapse. Regardless, a prepper prepares for such circumstances. Now you can imagine why such an idea became more popular since the pandemic started. Movies like I Am Legend and World War Z can really get you into the prepping mindset. Now, that's not to say that prepping wasn't popular before the pandemic, but rather it's just more popular now. In this video, I wanted to cover some basic things that you can get into in your own life if you wanted to start becoming a prepper. I've categorized it into four sections. Financial stability, physical health, food systems, safety and security systems. Let's start with financial stability. The reason I added this to the first part of the list is because if this part isn't in check, it's going to actually end up causing you to have to compromise on your investments when it comes to your food, health, and security. If you're not financially stable, then this can cause a lot of problems, which will make prepping very hard or in some cases even impossible. I want to quote this line I read in a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which I think sums up this very well. The love of money is not the root of all evil. The lack of money is. So to put it simply, unless you get your finances organized, you're going to have major issues with or without a financial collapse. Now let me clarify that getting your finances together doesn't always mean getting rich, but rather knowing exactly how much money is coming in and going out and where the money is being spent, making conscious decisions of where your money is being spent. Physical health. Now this is going to be one of the categories our society will face the most issues on. Most people are not at their peak performance in terms of their physical health. I mean, most people I know probably would be out of breath if they climbed up a couple of stairs. If society was to actually collapse, then most people would probably be dying pretty early on because of their weak physical health and poor immune systems. A lot of it comes down to our poor diets and little to no exercise. Not to forget the lack of sleep as well. You know, staying up on your phone, on TikTok, or whatever else people use nowadays. So working on building your physical health should be second on the list if you want to be a prepper. Food systems. When it comes to food, there are two main ways you can think of this. Storing food or growing food. The best way to go about this would be to do both, storing and growing food. But that can be difficult for most people, and the best way to get started is to start with one of them. As for storing food, the best way to do it would be to store non-perishable foods that can last you a very long time. A few examples of this would be dried and canned beans, dried fruits and vegetables, canned fish, whole grains like oats, rice, perhaps even jerky. When it comes to growing food, when thinking about growing food, the first thing that comes to mind is a farm. While this is certainly a standard and a great way to grow food, it's really not an option when it comes to people living in apartments or even small homes. That's where indoor farming comes into play. Indoor farming can be done in many ways. Some would be hydroponics, aeroponics, or even aquaponics. Now each of these methods do vary greatly in difficulty, but all methods work great in most indoor environments. Safety and security systems. Taking security into account is a key part of being a prepper. You must acknowledge the very real threat of others who can try and break into your home to take your resources and supplies. Such a scenario would usually occur in an SHTF situation. For those who don't know, SHTF stands for a phrase which is called when stuff hits the fan. Only they don't use the word stuff. But yeah, anyway, you should learn to secure your home in case of any intruders, but also create systems to deal with situations if an intrusion of your home was to occur. Now, even if you don't believe that society is going to collapse anytime soon, regardless, prepping is basically going to help you get your life together getting together your physical health while also making you organized and disciplined at the same time. It's really not such a bad thing. I might go into further details about topics like indoor farming or food storage in a future video. But I hope you like this one. Thanks for watching. Hey, be assured this day will come. It's just a matter of time. Could be one month, could be two months. Three months. Could be.